हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सरस्वती शिशुपुंज बगवाला बोस टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेक अ न्यू वीडियो फॉर यू ऑफ आई एस सीजन पार्ट 1 एंड पार्ट 2 इन द फर्स्ट वीडियो ऑफ माइ आई हैव गिवन सम टिप्स एंड स्ट्रेटजीज ऑफ आई एस सीजन पार्ट 1 एंड इन द सेकंड वीडियो आई हैव गिवन स्ट्रेटजीज ऑफ आई एस सीजन पार्ट 2 But here I am going to take of IELTS listening part one and part two, and it's a combined video. After each video of mine, I have given an assessment test for you of both the part part one uh, video and part two video. Then you can just uh, listen and practice. And I hope students of uh, both the videos of mine you have practiced and you got good uh, time of IELTS listening part one. Students, here I am going to discuss of part one and part two. What are the things that you need to keep in mind when you do IELTS listening part one and part two? In the first video of mine and the second video as well, uh, I have given a lot of uh, tips and strategies. Here also I am going to give what are the key uh, that you need to keep in mind when you start listening at the beginning or at the initial stage. Definitely, it's a new language for you. The pronunciation, the accent, the words, the language are completely new for you. And when you do at the initial stage, you get uh, less uh, marks or less band. But students, what are the things that you need to uh, understand? Let's discuss today. Uh, here I have given some strategies of IELTS listening part one and part two. The first uh, strategy we have over here is when you get. Or when you practice skills, only listen and get used to it. Now getting used to it with the language it, at the initial stage, definitely it's a new language for you, a new type of uh, audio, a conversation, monologue that you are going to listen. What you need to do? You need to get used to it with the language. So when you listen, when you practice, do not get the answer, but uh, used to get with the language. The second uh, strategy or tip that I have written over here on the board is try and identify your listening weakness. Uh, I know students uh, when you do IELTS listening part one and part two or maybe at the beginning, you need to understand or you need to identify your weakness. Out of ten questions of uh, listening part one, uh, you are not going to get all uh, answers correct. Definitely, the number of students get out of ten. Uh, all ten correct answers, but there are a number of students uh, they do not get. And where they stuck, where they find uh, uh, weakness of a particular question, there they get stuck. They do not get the proper listening. So what they need to do, they need to identify where they get uh, lack and where they get wrong answers. So first of all, you need to identify your weakness. Uh, out of ten questions, where you get stuck. Out of ten, where you get only five correct. Or maybe four or three correct. So you need to identify where you get stuck and where you do not get the correct answers. The third strategy we have over here is underline the keywords on the question sheet. Uh, when you do IELTS listening, definitely you have a question sheet with you. You need to under underline the keywords when you listen to the audio. When you underline the keywords uh, when you listen to the audio, it will be really easy for you. And you can get the exact words of the audio is being said in it. Okay, and you get the synonym as well. So these are the three things that you need to keep in mind uh, when you listen to the audio. You need to get the underline those uh, exact word and uh, find the synonyms of it. So these are the three uh, strategies I, I have given over here. The fifth, uh, fourth one I am going to write that is practice. Okay, practice with scripts. Uh, students, this is one of the best strategies that we have over here. You need to practice with the script. Uh, just when you put on your, your headphones and start practicing, what you need to do, you should have a script. Uh, definitely, when you do listening, 
uh, you have script as well or if you don't have you can download the script and just practice without script and try to get answers when you get answers of IELTS listening part 1 and if you think that I got out of 10 only 5 so what you need to do you need to do the listening for the second time but uh, second time you are not going to get the answers you need to listen or you need to practice with the script so you can listen to the audio you can see the script you can uh, speak loudly and uh, practice so this is one of the best thing that you can practice with the script and uh, the, the answers that you do not get uh, you can just underline in the script and for, uh, when you do for the second time or for the third time you can understand by the script and you can get the correct answers so I have given you total 4 strategies of IELTS listening uh, and this is the best one and you can follow it uh, the fifth one of IELTS listening that is practice listening part 1 and part 2 practice listening part 1 and part 2 now students practice listening part 1 and part 2 uh, in uh, part 1 and part 2 what are the questions that you have one is conversation and the second one you have monologue ok so I write conversation Okay, students practice listening part 1 and part 2 as I mentioned uh, before that what are types of uh, questions that you have one is conversation and the second one you have monologue so conversation is something that where two or three people are talking and you are trying to get the answers and monologue is something that uh, only a person says and you need to listen so these are the two types of questions that you need to practice of eyes listening uh, and all these uh, five strategies you need to follow uh, when you do IELTS listening part 1 and part 2 when you follow this definitely after some certain days you can uh, get the correct answers and uh, practice only you need to get the use with the language and when you uh, try to understand language when you try to identify your weaknesses definitely you can get good band of IELTS listening part 1 and part 2 uh, students there are uh, some more uh, strategies that I am going to give you Students I have explained total 5 strategies of IELTS listening part 1 and part 2 The last strategy that I am going to discuss that is do not lose attention Uh, what is the meaning of do not lose attention? When you do IELTS listening and when we listen to the audio, uh, when we try to get answers and sometimes uh, in that getting answer, we skip one or two question answer and when we stuck at a particular moment of getting the answer, we lose attention and uh, because of that we do not get the further answer as well. So what we need to do, we need to pay attention If you skip any answer, if you do not get Just leave it and try to get the other answer And try to focus on the audio But do not lose attention So this is the sixth strategy of IELTS listening uh, Students, I hope you have understood total 5 strategies of IELTS listening part 1 and part 2 And uh, after this video, I am going to give you two more assessment tests for you uh, then you can find part 1 and part uh, 1 only so there are total 2 part 1 all you will get uh, just you can practice and let me know how much you can get uh, students this is I have discussed of part 1 and part 2 and uh, just try to listen and when you do not get the answer let me know so in my next video I can help you out with uh, your आप वीडियो पची में एक असेसमेंट आस आपको छे लिसनिंग नो 
Cassette 2, side 2. Practice test 4. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers in the listening question booklet. At the end of the test, you will be given ten minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section one of your question booklet. Section one. Two students meet on the university campus. They start a conversation together. First, look at questions one to five. For each of the questions, four alternatives are given. Decide which of the alternatives, A, B, C or D, best fits what you hear on the tape and circle the appropriate letter. You will see that there is an example which has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to the example will be played first. Excuse me, um, can you help me? I was looking for the main hall. No, maybe I can actually. I'm looking for the main hall too. Uh, I think it's in the administration building. Are you a new student? Yeah, I am. The man says he's looking for the main hall too. So A has been circled. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Now listen carefully to the first conversation and answer questions one to five. Excuse me, um, can you help me? I was looking for the main hall. No, maybe I can, actually. I'm looking for the main hall, too. Uh, I think it's in the administration building. Are you a new student? Yeah, I am. Yeah, I thought you looked as lost as me. Uh, I'm trying to find the admin building, too, so I can register for my course. But I don't seem to be having much luck. Well, um, look, according to this map of the campus here, you go straight up the steps, uh -huh. turn left, and the building's on the right. OK, let's see if we can find it. Ah, oh, this looks right. Yeah, yeah, it must be. Look, there are hundreds of other people here. Oh, there must be at least 50 people in the queue. We'll be here till gone 2 o'clock at this rate. Yeah, I'm starving. So am I. Actually, I was on my way to the canteen to get something for lunch. Uh, why don't I go to the canteen and buy something, and you stay here and wait? Well, good idea. What would you like? Pizza, sandwich, hot dog, fried rice, they do everything. Oh, something easy. Take away fried rice sounds good. Okay, fried rice. No, no, on, on second thoughts, I'll have a cheese and tomato sandwich. Right, one cheese and tomato. Anything to drink? Yeah, give me coffee, would you? Uh, hot coffee's a bit hard to carry. What about a Coke or an orange juice? Um, get me an orange juice then. Look, here's five dollars. Oh, yeah, take two dollars back. Shouldn't cost me more than three dollars. Well, get the five. We'll sort it out later. Oh, and could you get me an apple as well? Okay, back in a minute. The woman speaks to the clerk about registering at university. Look at...
As you listen, complete the form by filling in the numbered spaces 6 to 10. Oh, hello. I'm here to register for the first year law course. Oh, I'll just have to fill out this form for our records. Um, what's your name? Julia Perkins. Can you spell that for me? Yeah, that's um, J-U-L-I-A-P-E-R-K-I-N-S. Um, address? Flat 5, 15 Waratah Road. That's W-A-R-A-T-A-H, Brisbane. Brisbane. Oh, and your telephone number? Oh, we haven't got the phone on yet. We've only just moved in. OK, well... Can you let us have the number once the phone's connected? And I'll make a note here uh, to be advised. Uh, and the course? Beg your pardon? What course are you doing? Oh, um, first year law. Right. Well, you'll have to go across to the law faculty and get this card stamped and then you come back here with it and pay your union fee. Oh, thanks very much. The man and the woman meet up again. Look at questions 11 and 12 and circle the correct answer. Oh, there you are. Oh, I thought you were never going to come back. <laughs> Sorry, the canteen was absolutely packed. I had to wait for ages. And then when I got to the front of the queue, there had hardly any food left. So I had to get you a slice of pizza. Sorry. Oh, that's okay. could eat anything. I'm so hungry. Oh, and there's your bottle of orange juice and your apple. At least I managed that. Great. Thanks a lot. No, oh, and here's your two dollars back. Don't worry about it. Buy me a cup of coffee later. Oh, all right then. So how'd you go? Oh, well, in order to register, we've got to go to the law faculty and get this card stamp. And then go back to the admin building and pay the union fees. That means we're registered. Mm -hmm. After that, we have to go to the notice board to find out about lectures. And then we have to put our names down for tutorial groups and go to the library. <laughs> oh, great. Well, well, first let's sit down and have our lunch, eh? <laughs> That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your answers. Cambridge IELTS 2 by the University of Cambridge Local Examination Syndicate Published by Cambridge University Press, 2000 This recording is copyright. Cassette 1, Side 2 Test 2. You will hear a number of different recordings, and you will have to answer questions on what you hear. There will be time for you to read the instructions and questions, and you will have a chance to check your work. All the recordings will be played once only. The test is in four sections. Write all your answers in the listening question booklet. At the end of the test, you will be given 10 minutes to transfer your answers to an answer sheet. Now turn to section 1. Section 1. Gavin, a newly arrived student, wants to insure the contents of his apartment. He calls an insurance agent to ask for information. First, you have some time to look at questions 1 to 6. You will see that there is an example that has been done for you. On this occasion only, the conversation relating to this will be played first. Good morning, Diane Davis. Can I help you? Yes. I'd like to get some insurance for the contents of my home. Fine. Uh, when did you move into the house? A couple of weeks ago. And um, it's an apartment, actually. 
I was told by the landlord that it would be a good idea to get some insurance for the furniture and、uh, other personal possessions. Gavin moved into his apartment two weeks ago, so B has been circled. Now we shall begin. You should answer the questions as you listen, because you will not hear the recording a second time. Listen carefully to the conversation, and answer questions one to six. Good morning, Diane Davis. Can I help you? Yes, I'd like to get some insurance for the contents of my home. Fine.、Uh, when did you move into the house? A couple of weeks ago, and、um, it's an apartment, actually. I was told by the landlord that it would be a good idea to get some insurance for the furniture and、uh, other personal possessions. Fine. Well,、uh, let's get some details. What kind of apartment is it? It's a two-bedroom apartment.、Huh? Uh, what floor is it on?、Um, why do you need to know that? <laughs> Because it affects the cost of the insurance. An apartment on the ground floor isn't as protected as others, and there's more chance of a break-in. Really? I didn't know that. Um, it's on the third. No.、Uh, Second floor.、Uh -huh. Second. And、uh, how much is the rent? It's six hundred and fifteen dollars per month. Good. And、uh, where is it located? In Biggin Street, South Hills. I see. And what things did you want to insure? Well, what do you recommend? Well, the most important things are those which you would normally find in a home. Things like the television, fridge, and so on. I see. Well, I've got a fridge and a stereo system which I've just bought from a friend. And、uh, how much did you pay for the fridge? Uh, four hundred and fifty dollars. Sorry, fifty or fifteen? Fifty. And the stereo system cost one thousand one hundred and fifty dollars. Have you got a television? Yes, but it's very old and not worth much. Okay.、Uh, well, is there anything else you want to insure? Yes, I've got a couple of watches and my CDs and books. How much do you think they're worth? The watches are worth a thousand dollars. For both of them? No, each one, and altogether the CDs and books cost me about four hundred dollars. Okay, so the value of everything you want to insure is four thousand dollars. Hmm. How much will the insurance cost? Let me see. Four thousand dollars divided by plus ten percent.、Um, right. So this kind of insurance—that's、uh, private contents insurance—it、um, comes to.、Uh, One hundred and eighty-four dollars for a twelve-month period. One hundred and eighty-four dollars. Well, that sounds pretty good. Okay, I'll take that policy. Before the conversation continues, you have some time to look at questions seven to ten. Now listen carefully and answer questions seven to ten. Can I arrange the policy over the phone? Sure. Just let me get the details down. So that's Mr.、Uh... Gavin Murray. That's M U W R A Y. And the address is. It's sixteen C. Biggins Street, South Hills. Okay, sixteen C, Biggins Street, South Hills. That's right. It's two words: South Hills. And your date of birth is twelfth of November, nineteen eighty. And your contact number? 
Home phone number is 9872-4855. Right. And、uh, you're Australian? No. I was born in London, although my mother is from Tasmania. Oh, really? Whereabouts? Hobart. I see. Interesting place. <laughs> Now, are you working at the moment? No. I'm a full-time student at Sydney University. Right.、Uh, good. That is the end of section one. You will now have half a minute to check your answers. <laughs>